What is up, Voodoo Tribe? It's your girl, Najee here, and I'm back with another video, and I'm doing something a little bit different today. So today, I wanted to do like a challenge, kind of, like, you know, kind of challenge my wig skills at this point. I've tried to do something similar to this in the past. If you guys wanna go and check it out, it's god awful. But if you wanna laugh, this is for you. Just, just go and click that. But um, it's basically where I go and I get a cheap wig and I try to revamp it. But this time around, I was like, you know what? I wanna go to the beauty store and actually buy a wig. Cause I always see wigs at the beauty store, but your girl just never trust them because they're auntie wigs. Like, let's be real, those are some straight up auntie wigs you know when your auntie she about to go on the cruise or she about to go on a date she about to stop at the hair store get a little quick wig plop that bitch on and then go and drink a mimosa like those are the, that's the type of vibes i get from hair store wigs but i feel like every wig can be saved and i've seen some people on youtube actually finesse a hair store wig so your girl is about to try it out i'm probably gonna buy depending on what the price range is at at the beauty store because I've never bought a wig from the beauty store before. I've only bought braiding hair and like hair products from the beauty store. Depending on how much they cost, I'll probably get like one or two wigs. Hopefully I can get three, but I'm gonna try to mix it up, get like different styles and stuff and just try to do the best that I can. So without further ado, we're about to go and hop in this car, go to the beauty store. Hopefully they let me film in there. I have a feeling they're gonna have like I don't know. I have like a gut feeling they're going to be weird about me filming, but I'm going to try to sneak my camera in there anyway. So let's go. Virgin Hair Store was a success. I got two wigs and they I they I they ain't they, that good. They ain't that great, bro. I'm about to make this shit work. I'll see y'all at the house. So what's up guys, I'm back. Um, I just took my hair extensions out and letting my hair breathe a little bit. I still haven't washed off these baby hairs so I know it looks a little awkward. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the two wigs that I bought that I chose for this experiment. So you know, when I think of auntie, I think of not like church lady, I think of like, you know, somebody that just has some wisdom and is just going out. So I didn't wanna get like a church wig, so don't get it fucked up. Sorry if some of y'all thought that I was gonna do a church wig. If you want me to do a church wig next, let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to fit in two, two wigs, but this is the, they're pretty much the same, kind of the same, not really. So here is the first one. This is the picture on the front. We got no type of parting space or nothing, just some shoulder curl things, but, that's a that's a church that's a that's a church wig. If you want to be auntie, you have to get that color, bitch. So we got us a bright blue, curly, synthetic. You could see like the tracks in the back, like bruh. Uh, this is all of the lace space that they give you here. This is all the lace that you get right here, right? You guys know I'm pro synthetic wig. I am so pro synthetic wig, but I know for a fact what I paid for this, I could have got a different wig with way more lace and way more parting space. This was $44, but the owner of the shop, super, super dope ass lady. She was so cool. Let me have it for 10% off because this was the only one left. But yeah, there is like no parting space in this shit bro so that's gonna be a challenge so this is like the hairline i call this the sun over the horizon hairline because there's it's just a it's just a like so yeah this is gonna be the first one i transform i feel like it will it'll still be fairly easy you know but it'll just be hard because i have to pluck a lot a lot a lot a lot to make this into here i'm about to try it on so y'all could see what we're dealing with oh no bitch this is this is um what your auntie wore back at freak me y'all don't even know her bang this bang like no part oh my god wait we can see a little part here i think i might do a side part with this because i like this bang or can i like can we do this as well i like this as well this is cute we're gonna transform her 
<laughs> oh my goodness, bless. Those combs gotta go too. Oh my God, you got combs up in. There's just like two lonely little orphan combs. This is what the inside looks like. Just so y'all can see. So yeah, that's wig number one. We're gonna call her Miss Barry. Miss Barry. Okay, so now the second one is something that I wanted to do completely outside of my comfort zone. I don't do blonde. I don't feel like I look good with blonde, but everybody auntie think that they could rock a blonde wig. So I got this wig here. Rihanna 2011, ladies and gentlemen. I got this wig here. It's a, it's like more of a wavy pattern opposed to the curl pattern that Miss Barry was giving off. The same price as that other wig, mind you guys. I know I could have found this wig on Amazon for like $30. Not a lot of parting space, but one thing I can say is that it has an L part, which is basically like there's no other parting space. This is the only way you could part the wig. But I love this because at least I, are, I don't have to pluck as much and I could just put the foundation down and we're Gucci. I don't even think I have to pluck this at all. Like, I actually like that. But this still is gonna need some finessing because look at this right here. We got ourselves um, a Frankenstein hairline and no man, when that wind blows, you are gonna be looking all types of crazy. So yeah guys, we're gonna try, and again, these dark roots, oh my God, bless the day. Just, it looks like it's literally somebody just went, got some spray paint and went shh, and just like sprayed it on there. Like, again guys, I'm not knocking synthetic wigs. You guys know I will rock a really good synthetic wig, but these wigs right here need Jesus, and I'm not Jesus, but I can help, if you get what I'm saying. So we're gonna name her, we're gonna name this wig Gladys because this could also be a church wig for real. You have Miss Gladys come up in here with her hat and stomp the, t stomp the church down, bitch. But, um, the first one that I'm going to be doing is trying to transform Miss Blueberry or Miss Berry because she doesn't have as much to work with as Miss Gladys does and I know it'll take me more time to do Miss Berry. So I'm gonna just like fast forward and like do like little screen caps at the bottom to, got, to let you guys know what I'm doing to the wig. And uh, yeah, we're just we're just gonna speed right on through this. Let's let's get into it. Let's let's un auntie these wigs. <laughs> This freaking curl pattern is like going dead right now. Hopefully I can hit this with a curling wand without it melting. Like this shit is like, ooh, Jesus. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys so we can compare size. As you guys can see, this is still thick as hell. This shit is so thick, dude. It looks like I didn't do any plucking. This one still looks super thick though. This is like super thick. Somewhat not thick. It's like, man, you can't win with this wig. She just wants to have a thick ass hairline. Jesus Christ, this fucking wig. It's the fucking roughest freaking hair in the history of time. So this is the finished result. 
of Miss Barry. Y'all saw the before and this is the after. So basically what had happened was is that it was actually way harder than I thought it was to manipulate this wig in particular because the parting space was so small. The roots, like you know how when you pluck um, uh, behind the hairline, those little dots were so black that it's like even when I was plucking it, it still like looks as if there were was hair there. I had foundation, it just wasn't working. And then the more I plucked, the more I had to brush out the um, excess hair that came off. So the bigger the hair kept getting and I was about to throw in the towel, but then I was like, you know what? As a chick that used to have big hair, I used to wear big hair wigs. The best thing to do when you can't make a realistic part is to make some bangs. So I made some bangs and I'm loving this. Like this is now my new go-to Afro wig. Well, not really an Afro bitch, but like you get what I'm saying. Like it has bangs. You don't have to do much to try to conceal that it is a wig. It looks very cute, very natural. I'm loving it. I was really disappointed at first when I was like, damn, I might not be able to turn Miss Blueberry into um, Berry Baby at all, but, or Instaberry rather. <laughs> But we turned Miss Berry into Instaberry and I definitely could do like an Instagram look with this, to be honest. It looks really cute. Super easy to plop on. Difficulty scale of turning on into a sis would probably have to be around maybe like a seven on difficulty, like for sure. Like for sure, for sure. I've been doing dealing with synthetic wigs for what, two years now and this one, was kicking me in my ass but I just love it and I could not let it go to waste because I just love this color and I love the volume that came of it when I brushed the curls out yeah this this is cute I'm actually pretty satisfied at first I was like damn I spent all this money and this shit ain't even gonna work but it actually came out really nice let me know what you guys think now on to Miss Gladys here. I'm kind of, I kind of got PTSD now because I'm like, damn, I just spent all this time on this other wig. We're gonna do Miss Gladys. I feel like Miss Gladys is gonna be way more easier than this wig, but we shall see. Guys, I am so shocked at how this came out. I don't do blonde hair at all, and I actually like how I look. And look at the freaking scalp, dude. Like, that's crazy. I did not expect this to come out that way. And as you guys saw, I didn't really do much. Like, I um, put dry shampoo in it because it was looking kind of like shiny and yellowy. And then I just tweezed the part just a little bit more. But for the most part, I didn't do anything like that's crazy that is so crazy i am just like in love with this part now one thing i don't like is the leave out like if i had like some spray i would like spray this a little bit more make it blend more but overall <laughs> bitch i mean i'm not gonna lie we are still looking very much like someone's auntie i for some of y'all that y'all don't know, I'm actually um, somebody's auntie, but you, you get what I'm saying? Like, bitch, this is cute and I don't do blonde at all. And I don't like dark roots and I actually do like this a lot. Not bad, not bad beauty supply. Not bad at all. What do you guys think? Let me know which wig was your favorite. Was it Miss Barry or Miss Gladys? This wig is just called like Gladys Day Off, honestly. <laughs> So yeah, let me know which one you guys like the best. Let me know if you want me to do this again or if you want to send me any links to some synthetic wigs you may see online if you want me to try it. Um, again, I will link my actual how to make synthetic wigs look natural tutorial in the comments below. I'm going to pin it. But honestly, guys, like 
this isn't like am i okay what i learned from this is if you want to make a synthetic wig look natural your best bet is going online so you can see reviews and you know you know how much parting space stuff has and stuff like that because from what i've seen is the wig that the um hair store does not have big parting space and if it does it's kind of like this where it's just this is the only parting space you have you can't really do a half up half down with it because you know this part is just permanently there, bitch. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye.